Hello, my name is the original DJ Raj. I DJ and stream regularly on Twitch as well as Mixcloud. Today I'm here to talk to you about a cool new feature that I found that I've been looking for for a while that I thought that'd be useful for everybody else as well. Currently there's a feature that we use on Twitch chat called the poll. Where you want to engage with the audience to get their input on various different things. It's a great little feature to help uh, streamers engage better with the audience. However, as a streamer, sometimes it's very easy for us to miss the poll when we have a, a moderator actually performing a role for us. And, you know, even the audience sometimes may miss the actual poll. So wouldn't it be great if the streamer and the audience could see that poll and overlay on the actual screen itself? Not just a chat window, but also on the screen. I did some research and then I actually found a couple of solutions. I'm here to talk about one specific solution uh, from a system called tipeestream.com. Now, if you like this content, please hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell, notification bell, so each time I post new content, you will get an alert. Now, let's get to it with the first with a demo. So as you can see in this example, not only do we have a poll question up with the possible answers in there, and people are actually responding, and we can see the real-time responses on, on, on the main screen. There's also a timer built in to show the audience how much time is left before they can finish the actual poll. The most, another key part that I like, is you can, which you can configure, is the ability to, for the poll to remain on the screen after it's completed. So you can choose your time frame between you know, zero seconds to whatever time frame that, that pleases you. Okay? I, th I think that's always a good feature because sometimes as a streamer, you may not always be paying attention to when the poll finishes and you won't be able to announce the results back to the audience. So this gives you an extra time frame for you to be able to go back, look at the screen and respond accordingly. So now that we've seen a demo on how it works in real life, let's get to it and show you how to do this for yourself. So the main feature for this, or the overlay, Comes from, comes from a system called tpstream.com. And it's actually very easy to go there and start to activate this OBS uh, overlay. So let's go there. You log in with Twitch. It allows you to confirm if you want to log in. Okay, so already actually logged in here. As you can see, this is really meant more for a system to be used for tips and stuff like that and other kind of overlays, much like Stream Elements or Stream Labs and other systems out there. But what we're going to go is we we'll look for something here on the left-hand side, a widget called Under Others. We're going to look for what's called Polls, Twitch Polls. We click over here on Twitch Polls on the right-hand side. And it allows you to have two different kinds of polls. A classic version where you have the question on top and the answers at the bottom over here. And as the actual uh, answers are being submitted by the audience, these, these bars and numbers percentages uh, adjust automatically. It's also what's called a new, uh, a, a new battle mode where it only has the answers and not the actual question. So you can pick and choose whichever you like. And both those options, you can pick the color, uh, color codes over here. On a classic, you can pick the, co the background color that you want, the main, the main color, I should say, as well as the font that you want to pick from. There are a whole bunch of different fonts uh, that they have available, and you can select whatever you want. Now, this is where it gets sort of interesting. You can take a look at how many, how many seconds to actually uh, show this. Uh, results to show after the, um, after the poll is completed. I left it for 90 seconds at the moment, but you can adjust this number to 60 seconds or whatever number you like. Okay? I prefer 90 seconds just to give me personally enough time but to go on there and, and look at the answers as well as even the audience. Sometimes even the audience may not pay attention uh, and may forget to look at uh, the results. And you can also have the option of choosing your, uh, your animation for fading in or fading out or the different kinds of options over here. I'll just left it for default for now but you can make your, your own selection uh, as you see fit. Once you've done this, you basically click over here. As you're doing this now, you're going to uh, click on that. And that's your URL, your browser source URL. Click and, and just copy that. So I just hit 
Control C on a on a Windows or a Apple C on on a Mac. You, you copy that uh, URL, and we're ready to go now into OBS. So now in OBS, in whatever scene that you want to actually add to pull overlay, you go to the scene. In this case, I'll just stick with the scene over here. Uh, we add a new browser source. So on sources, click the plus sign at the bottom, and go to browser. On top. And I'm just gonna. I already. I got one already created. I just add a new one here called full overlay two. And in the URL over here, we'll just remove that and paste the one that we just copied. And you can adjust the frames uh, as you see fit, the frame size, etc. I'll just leave a default for now because you'll see why. And click OK. And this is where it's going to appear over here on the, on the top hand. For now, is top side. I can move it around. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Just a little bit smaller. Now, in this version of OBS, I have also installed a plugin from Stream Elements called OBS Live, which lets me see the chat, uh, the Twitch chat, right here within OBS. That's what you see on the right hand side. So I'm actually going to go and create a poll. Let's just test it out. So I'm just going to put in a, uh, a quick question. What is your favorite color? OK, I scroll down, leave everything the way it is. And we're leaving the duration for one minute. Start poll. OK, so now you can see the poll started. And voila, on the left-hand side, you see the poll appearing on the screen. If I come and answer the poll back in the tab, back in the chat side over here, I click on the poll, and let's say I want to say my very color is blue, click vote, and you can see very quickly on the left hand side there, the poll has been updated with the results. Okay. And the timer is still going as to how many seconds are left on the poll. And when the timer is finished, it will show you the total results, and then it'll also remain on there, in my case, for 90 seconds. So I hope that you uh, found this tutorial useful. If you did, please click at the bottom the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button so you're notified of new uh, content when I post it. But also please leave me some comments at the bottom so I know uh, what you guys think about this tutorial. And if you have any questions, let me know, and I will do my best to answer them. And until next time, this is Regional DJ Raj signing off.